Hi everyone, Mark here and this is a guide on how to yield farm on BAC and an overview of DeFi on BAC. BAC or Binance Smart Chain, as you remember, is a new blockchain from Binance that is smart contract enabled and is compatible with EVM among other things, making it easier for Ethereum app developers to move to. It has seen a dramatic rise in usage and popular among crypto users of late. A lot of this interest is due to the fact that Ethereum gas prices have become really high. So a simple borrow for Ivy could set you back by 200 or more, even if you are willing to wait for several hours for the transactions to complete. This is not sustainable for the small users. Even if you have a million dollar portfolio and assuming you invest 1% of your portfolio, getting in and out and harvesting your old farming assets could easily eat up from 2 to 5% of the position size. A significant amount, doesn't it? Unsurprisingly, users are looking for an easy way out of this. DeFi seems to be the first to make the move in a big way. DeFi on BSC has been increasing at an exponential rate, along with the price of being out of the last time. Let's be very clear, most current DeFi on BSC projects are copy-quest on similar projects on Ethereum. However, most of the food farming on ETH were also copies of others. For example, one sushi swap came out with sushi. There was a whole host of other food farms that were simply copy past. So we shouldn't dismiss BSC outright. As with most things, this will likely drive innovation forward in the entire crypto space. Hopefully the EVE projects can learn from some of the successes of projects on BSC. Our take right now is simple, Gazanif is making it unusable for a subject on users who are moving to BAC. However, projects need to prove themselves beyond simple yield farming on BAC by innovating the jury is still out. So how exactly to yield farm on BAC? I've outlined a 5-step procedure below on how to yield farm on BAC with the emerging DeFi on BAC. This assumes you are already familiar with yield farming and DeFi on Ethereum. Okay, step number one, set up your environment, install MetaMask from their site, uh, metamask.io. If you already have MetaMask, you can use the same address on BAC. You will need to configure your MetaMask for BSC, like here. So, next step is purchase some BNB from Binance. Register an account with Binance and buy BNB using any other crypto or fiat, however. Uh, step 3. Uh, transfer BNB into your MetaMask on BSC chain. It's easily. Once you've purchased BNB, withdraw it to your MetaMask account. You can confirm the withdrawal via BSC scan. This should also show you any other BAP20 tokens you hold. Okay, step number four, find out the yield farming project on BSC like this. There are a lot of them. Yes, step number five, start yield farming and sell your harvest since the transaction fees on BSC are low and a lot of projects are currently in the fly-by-night mode. You would be wise to yield farm and sell your harvest frequently. That is especially true if you are yield farming on pool 2 or death pool. That's all. Thank you. Don't forget subscribe and click on button like. See you.